What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to my crypto journey. My name is Rodney. Do me a favor, hit that like button, push us up in the old algorithm. And I watched the Saitama AMA. In fact, I live streamed it yesterday. So if you want to check that video out, the full in-depth reaction live stream, I'll put it up in the cards right here and you can check that out. And I'll put it in the first comment. Now, here's the thing. Okay. They made a point saying that you know, because of our price action, you know, everything's down right now. People are coming at us and causing FUD. It's never been about the price action with Saitama. Never, never, ever, never. It's never been about the price action. Yes, the entire cryptocurrency market and altcoins are down pretty bad, 80 to 90% on most projects. But Saitama is down way more than that, like 99. fucking. 5%. It's absolutely insane. It's never been about price action, Russ, Saitama team. It's never been about that because if it was, we would understand, right? We would understand. Now, I'm in so many products that are down from their all-time high. It, I don't care. Why? Because they're good projects with a good solid team. They have a good function. They have a use case and they're working towards greatness, right? They're wor working towards the future of DeFi. Now, you can't say the same thing about Saitama. Time after time after time, when it came to delivering things, they failed. When it came to doing anything, they failed. They never hit the target. And still you have these influencers out there praising these guys, literally holding their balls every single day, every, every single day of the week. It's absolutely insane. I don't know if they do it because it, it, for the community. I don't know why they do it, but they still do it. They act like nothing's wrong and there's nothing to see here. Look at road bumps are perfectly normal in projects. But just go back and I'll I'll put that in the cards up above too. Watch my live reaction for the Sata Mask event. Just watch it. It's like four hours, but skip through the video and just watch the soul leaving my body because at that moment, I knew we were being scammed. I mean, it's absolutely insane. But here's the thing, guys. Here's the thing. You have to understand something. It's never been about price action. We've given this project so many chances. It's about over-promising, under-delivering, and missing the target time and time again. Say Damascus closed down now. I mean, Say to Realty has no liquidity. Some people have their airdrops. Some people don't have their airdrops. You know, a lot of people say, "Oh, I thought you said they only have sixty or you know seventy or fifty thousand real holders." I, I I say that because that's true. The rest are dust wallets. But if the team is saying we have three hundred and sixty thousand holders, then they should be airdropping three hundred and sixty thousand holders. No more, no less. That's it. Right, But people are following these wallets. We know the team is spending money. We know they're stiffing a lot of people, not paying for promotion. A lot of people help bring this team up and they're stiffing a lot of those people married with crypto. Another guy on Twitter the other day was like, hey, you know, he deleted all these posts, but he said, hey, you know, Saitama hasn't paid me. Like it was like $40,000 for some kind of promotion. And then right when he made that public and people started talking about it, the Saitama team reached out to him and he deleted it because he probably got paid. Right. But it shouldn't have to take for people coming out of the woodworks for you to pay them. It's just kind of scammy and scummy. Like it's just the team has this icky feeling about it. And look at if you want to instill trust back in the community. You got to you got to get some people out of there because I don't think it's good for Saitama long term, but we'll see what happens. So, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Did you watch the AMA yesterday? I almost fell asleep during the live stream. Like literally, I almost fell asleep. Um if you've seen one of them, you've seen them all, but it's never been about price action. Look at people are not coming out after you about price action. Skywalker, you know, Faltron, possibly another big YouTuber, me, we're not talking about price action. Some of my favorite products are down, but I'm still buying the dip. Why? Because they have a good, competent team that's working towards something and have and has delivered. So that's what I look for in a project. If you're not fucking delivering, don't expect me to buy the dip of this fucking dumpster fire. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Peace.